Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is just going to be the end of Mafia Redefined Edition. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get on to the video. Death of art. Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready Kitchen. to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep, is all. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. What? Oh yeah, we're basically just back from robbing a bank. Well, a night okay, back after doing? robbing the bank. Just feeling lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. Yeah, I'm that bank was. Oh yeah. I'll what the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. You know what? I'm just gonna skip this. Uh, I can skip. Okay. <coughs> We're off to see the wizard. Oh. That car actually looks quite nice. I admire the car. Look at it. Now for a new Is that like a liquid no in those pipes? In the case of the audacious what? bank robbery that recently shocked the city. The victors of the Battle of the Grand Imperium, as it's become known, remain at large. The robbery, in which armed thugs emptied the vault and left a trail of dead, was one of the largest recorded in the state by dollar amount. The raid was executed with a high degree of violence. And although successful, did not seem to be the work of professional bank robbers. That is according to a source within the FBI who has spoken to a courier journalist on the condition of anonymity. At the time of the robbery, the chief of police was adamant that those responsible would be brought to justice swiftly and that all the resources of the Lost Heaven Police Department were available to the case's lead investigator. However, Despite conducting numerous interviews and fielding calls from the public, an actionable lead has yet to be forthcoming. The chief of police has stated that those with any information about the robbery or the perpetrators can anonymously contact their local police station. As time passes, the greater the pressure on the chief to achieve results. Oh, so actually try follow secure justice for those slain that day. And due to the Never mind, I might just drive it normally. Only be a matter of time normally being quite chaotic. Thank you for listening. Now we take you back to some of the latest mm -hmm. musical numbers. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's just say this. Welcome to 570 AM Lost Heaven Radio. Winner of the 1935 wow. Esco Prize for Broadcast Music and News are on the way. Please stay with us. Making my way downtown oh, Walking fast Faces fast The whole band Making my way downtown Making oh, my fast oh, I, I can't do it, this tune is weird Walking fast, pieces fast, and I'm homebound. No, no, no. Should I skip traffic? Great 
guns breaking I don't care if I don't awaken For my gal is gone This city has lost! Not economy! Let's just not talk about that. That was, uh, I don't know. That was uh, the trolley's fault. I forgot the name of that thing. Uh, uh, I just got a trolley. Forgot his name. A locomotive. I mean, it is kind of a locomotive, but still, this music is so uh, nice. I like the jazz music in this, but this is terrible. So this is it, Polly's apartment. You'd think he would have got in a nicer house or something with all the money he's been making. Especially after robbing the this bank, he should have gotten in the house. What happened to your door? Crazy. Uh, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell again. Hey, here's Paul. Why is this door open? Why did I pull out my gun? Oh, God, Jesus. Does he whack his head on something? Oh, wait, no, Bully. that's definitely not just hitting his head. That's like bullet holes in his head or something. Someone try to get his money or something. Polly. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh wait, yeah, where is the money? Late now. Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. Uh, you want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Okay. The art gallery is. I see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. No, Polly. Polly. How could they do Polly like that? I'm sorry. Oh, 
Oh, there's the stairs. <clears throat> oh, I swear the stairs were in there. Go ahead and open the door for a second. Right, there's the cool car. Is this like. What, what year is this now? All the cars are different. A brief report now on the latest political developments in Europe. Yeah, with the yeah, 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 Despite the restrictions placed on Germany by the Treaty of Versailles, neither France nor Great Britain have done much to stand in Hitler's way up to this point. It had been hoped that the policy of appeasement toward his territorial ambitions would create a more prolonged peace in Europe, but it seems increasingly likely that this course of action will result in new conflict. Should Europe once again descend into the chaos of war, what steps should the United States Jeez. take? Many would still say European problems are European problems. But the deteriorating situation and the worrying possible outcomes for the world now seem difficult for us to ignore. Isolation versus intervention. That is the choice facing America. Which we will decide will be known in time. Thank you for listening. And now back to my colleagues who, no doubt, have some music on the cards. Okay, I'll park right. Uh, right. Belt, another accessory yeah. for the icing on the right, out we get. Oh, that was close. Okay, I need to quickly get in there. Surprise it's even open, there's like no one in there. Oh cutscene. See, so I'll be waiting there with my money. Don't move, Dominic. Shit. Oh. Morello. No, he's dead. Hey, Tom. <gasps> Sam. Sam's betrayed. Sam is working yeah, with Sally Eddie. You and Polly. I mean, me Sam was already. Spot. I can be Salieri, but I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about he that, chose but Salieri to over can you help me or not? good old Tommy Can't Angelo. Again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam, you killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed, and you seem real tore up about it. I'm just saying no, the road. Polly. But Sam things killed are Polly. Right me he says isn't as sad as Pippi, so. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank Tom. The whore, too. That whore. The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. It's gonna say something like try me or something. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boy. That can't be the end. My body. Um, is this just the end? Oh no! Intense shoot out commences. Oh! Get over here now. Dead. 
Captain. Oh. My aim was godly there. You're in my Another one. No, it was alright there. That was good aim. Shotgun. Shotgun shell. Oh, whoa, it's hot in here. Now you're done. Tommy. It's not really, none of them are really good at hiding. something there. This is serious, boys. Hey, Surprised no one was hiding behind anything here. Same here. Yes. Nope. That's also surprising. No people in three rooms. Out of guys yet. <clears throat> oh, I'm one tap. I'm one tap. There's another one? There it is. Oh. Okay, anyways, let's pretend nothing happened. Back to this. Alright, uh. Um. Oh, he's taking it to a Oh, what? Uh, bye bye. Bye bye, buddy. Die, there he is. 
Tommy gun. I know. This guy aim is disgusting. Oh, that's what they stole. No, the drugs. Got to find. That's what they used to buy the men. Even though Sam was against the drugs, same as Salieri. Salieri is against drugs as well. Anyways, back to this. L. 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 He looked very well hidden, was he? See ammo as well. Wait, where's he gotten? He's down the stairs. There he is. Probably like dead or something. Whoa. Fighting for himself for months. Oh, he's behind the wall. Stupid. Grenade. There we are. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. Oh, yeah. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. And I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri... He sent out a crew. And his family... So he killed his family too. <laughs> yeah, you shoot that man. You can't do it, can you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, or Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. He's not dead yet. No, he is, but well, that's unnecessary. Don't you think I should know this is the fairies? They won't have fingerprints tracking or whatever it is. Blood money, literally. What is that? I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm 
sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife, four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the... I wonder how many cigarettes they've smoked throughout the past whole game, basically. Because the whole game was just Tommy explaining to this guy what he's been doing. Must have been smoking. So like, the game's like 10 hours or something. So, they must have been smoking for like 10 hours. There's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm going to make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. Well, let's put... Do I have to, like, get him into jail? Well, epilogue 1951. Wedding. Oh, this is... What, my daughter's Long wedding or something? Ago. Tommy's daughter. Life. Is this? Yeah, this is Tommy's daughter. One once told me, that family is a man's Achilles heel. His greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done. Wait, is that them? Vin good and bad. Fanny and the crippled guy. I've done for my family. I don't know if he's actually crippled, everyone just calls him crippled. I've turned my back oh, there's Sally Eddie. So they are going to jail. I've kept a lot of hard promises. Wait, what? Eight years. Tommy me went to jail. Trying to find myself. So I could come home. A better husband. A better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. I'll let a good lesson in that. Oh, wait, what? There's the more. Oh, yeah. Well, let's just chase our dreams. Even when they're moving too fast to catch. Who's that? A new job offer? It keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Hmm. Who are these? Yes, Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Why is it got? Oh, 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 oh. Tommy. So it doesn't end very happy after all. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs. Even best pals 
will come and go. But family, family is forever. Nice life lesson. Good life lesson. But it's still sad. Anyways, everybody, that's the end of that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. That was a took a sad turn, but it was a good game. Hope you enjoyed that video. That's it for me. See you in the next one.